From above, you can see just how powerful the explosion was and the scale of the devastation it had caused. Since then, the buildings which took the brunt of the explosion have been demolished and the roads have been cleared and reopened. But 31 weeks on and the homes badly damaged by the blast here have yet to be repaired and still remain unsafe to return to. The boarded up windows and the scaffolding which still surround these homes remain as a reminder that life for many residents here is still a long way from returning to normal. So what, what happened then? The explosion happened. Christopher Powers' house was just a few doors down from the blast. He shared with me the considerable damage it suffered. The windows were in down here. There were cracks everywhere in the kitchen. Water from the uh, system here. Upstairs, again, glass. Oh, the conservatory was damaged. The floor. So it was a huge uh, task to undertake uh, with the builders coming in, getting rid of stuff. Having lived in this property for 12 years, Chris also spoke of how he feels seeing it still remain as it does now. It's very emotional. Um, yeah, for everyone on this block, 30 whatever so many weeks, it's a long time to be outside. And then when nothing's done, and week after week you come back and it's still the same, you get frustrated. To find out why little progress has been made, I spoke with new ferry councillor Warren Ward, who explained the issues involved. In terms of the residential properties, what our priority is, is to obviously try and get residents in those properties as soon as possible. Um, again, a lot of the responsibility is down to insurance companies. If we look at the Port Sunlight properties, um, I know it may not seem like a priority, but those properties are Grade 2 listed buildings now. For any changes or any change in infrastructure or repairs, they have to go through a separate planning application process. Um, I have been had confirmed from my officers that those processes have been fast-tracked and they will be um, starting to progress in the next two weeks. Because of the Grade 2 listed status of these homes, contractors have also had to spend months on creating like-for-like -like features, such as doors and windows. As work is finally set to begin, it could take until next spring before these homes are fully restored, which means for now, the wait continues. Harry Lee Hay, Liverpool Live News, New Ferry.